In the following video, I will explain to you how to handle the ABPM Recorder CustoScreen 300. First, insert three AA batteries into the blood pressure monitor and make sure that the infrared interface CustoCom IR is connected to the PC via USB. Then create the patient data in Custo Diagnostic or import already existing data. In addition, decide upon suitable start parameters, which are defined by different measurement intervals and repeat measurements. Select the risk factors which apply to the patient. This option is exclusively available in the Custo Screen Professional version. Make sure that you use the correct blood pressure cuff size. To this end, measure the patient's upper arm circumference. Cuffs are available in the sizes small, standard, X-large and XX-large. Before attaching the cuff to the patient's arm, you can use a screen protect optionally. Attach the blood pressure cuff to the left upper arm, 2 to 3 cm above the inside of the arm. The marking must be placed over the brachial artery. Direct the cuff tube from the left shoulder over the right one down to the hip. Turn on the screen 300 and place it in front of the infrared interface. Then start the device. Wait until the data transfer has been completed and confirm the transfer. Put the recorder in a CustoClean hygiene bag or a customary CustoMed bag. Connect the screen 300 to the blood pressure cuff and attach it to the patient. Place the recorder over the t-shirt or undershirt and advise the patient not to remove the screen 300 during the entire examination. Now carry out a test measurement. Here it is important that the patient keep still. If the measurement fails, improve the position of cuff and tube. If the test measurement has been successful, the recorder will be ready for recording and the long-term measurement will start automatically. Now you can explain the patient diary to the patient. Keeping it correctly is helpful for later evaluation. For the next 24 to 72 hours, the patient pursues his or her daily activities and records relevant events in the diary. As soon as the measurement starts, the patient should stay calm in order to avoid a faulty measurement. This means that during the measurement, the patient should not speak, not move, and let the arm hang down or rest it in a relaxed way. What is more, an additional measurement is possible at the push of a button. This measurement should be triggered by the patient when hypertension symptoms such as dizziness arise. Back in the doctor's office, you ask the patient for the diary and remove the Custo Screen 300, the cuff and the screen protect. Then download the data from the device via the infrared interface and the software. You can adapt the individual phases, such as for example day and night phase, by using the patient diary. Different views of brachial blood pressure are available. Beside the presentation in an overview, there is a table and a diagram view. You can additionally call up the blood pressure development and use it as a communication aid for the patient. Furthermore, you can print a report and give it to the patient. Disinfect the Custo Screen 300 and the cuff by means of wipe disinfection and clean the carrying bag and the belt as described in the user manual. Customed. Excellence in Diagnostics.